what we are talking about today is really urgent funding to keep the child care industry from crumbling. Senator Patty Murray not mincing words today addressing the child care crisis looming here in the U.S. President Biden is pushing for a $16 billion lifeline to fund the child care industry through next year as pandemic era assistance is drying up this year. Without this funding, lawmakers fear that many facilities will be forced to shut their doors, lay off their staff, or hike up prices even more. Jordan Smith has been following the story today. He is live in studio with the urgency behind this and the major roadblocks ahead. Yeah, Guys, child care is already out of reach for so many families here in Washington. The average cost of child care is about $12,000 a year per child. I met with a local daycare center to find out how vital this funding is and what it would go towards. My favorite part about this job is watching kids when they catch on to what you're trying to teach them. Shug Valala has worked here at Southeast Daycare Center for 37 years. Some of her former students now work for her here at the daycare. I have actually people working for me. They used to go to daycare here. And I have people bringing their children here that went to daycare here. She's been around the block and has seen firsthand the need for child care. But she knows the financial obstacles all too well. One of the main problems I see here is to people who need child care. They may be a couple dollars over that limit and therefore they're rejected. Most families don't qualify for child care assistance programs and are on the hook for thousands of dollars of care, forcing them to ask some tough questions. It gets down to, do I pay for child care, do I work, or do I try to get uh, state assistance to stay at home with my kids? It's, it's difficult if, if the funding isn't there to support the need that they have for child care. Daycares are also facing an uphill battle, trying to find qualified staff and be able to pay them enough to stick around. It's a difficult balancing act that many industries are battling. Under Biden's proposal, Washington would receive about $245 million in child care funding. Valala says she'd use that money to increase the pay of her employees. She says she would also lower the cost of her child care services for the people who don't qualify for assistance. And Valala says that her daycare is authorized to look after 95 kids, but they can only take care of about 80 because of a staffing shortage. The major question is, can they get this funding through a divisive house that is also juggling a separate $100 billion request to fund Israel and Ukraine? And according to lawmakers, the future of childcare depends on it. In studio, Jordan Smith, 4 News Now.